thought we had a, a shorter version with just some bullet points. Did we? Um, no, we had this long, I, uh, I think Brooke had originally uh, drafted this and it was um, pretty much structured like this. But uh, as okay. I said, I, I, let's, let's talk about editing it. If you think there's stuff in here that we can get rid of. All right. I have a um, an item that's much shorter uh, than this, and maybe it's a um, it, it's dated August of last year. That was the last time I looked at. Excuse me. Um, let me see the date on this. The stuff I had was from July, I think, of last year. Uh, so okay. there may, may have been a version after that. Yeah, this is October 13th, 2020. Uh, no, excuse me, that's today. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out when I edited this. I edited it Sunday this morning. Let's see, original properties, August 26, 2019. What is what, what do you have, Pete? What is yours? Uh, around about July. Okay, yeah, I've, got, I've got one here that's a lot tighter. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, can I share my screen? Give it a uh, shot. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Um, you disabled me, Peter. Why Let's did you disable? Why did you disable me like that? Let's see if I can figure this out here. Um, if I make you a a co-host of the meeting, I think that would allow you to um, let me make you a co-host and then see what happens. All right. All right, give it, try it now. Let's see, stand by. This is uncharted uh, territory here, so. Something's happening. Can you see my screen? Yep. Yep. So this is That's not it. This is the letter that I've got. This is right here. Um, should I admit Gary? Do I have to admit Gary now? Or are you, can you admit Gary? I got it. Gary should be admitted. Mm -hmm. He should be admitted and I should not be disabled. This is a very <laughs> rough meeting so far. <laughs> okay, so Pete, this looks like um, this is a little bit tighter than what we had this fall, blah, 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 to that end. We ask you to share your ideas. Um, uh, we were going to go with an electronic survey, and it's, I guess that was the um, funky. Um, and then the survey take more than a minute. We want to promote your business. We'd like to include your business the town's directory. We know keep us so it's happening. So this is a, this is a lot shorter than what the other letter was, and this was the draft, and this is probably where you got the draft for the envelope. Here. Yep. yep. If you want to um, shoot me a copy of that, that would be great. Just when you're done, email, just email it to me. Okay. So um, one of the things, just to go on this, um, and again, I I just think, and I agree with Leslie, if they're if they're short paragraphs or they're bulletized, I think as a, a business owner, they're going to be more apt to read it. And, and again, we have a, an advantage that it's going to have the towns um, come on the town of Weathersfield's envelope. So I think the open rate is going to be really high. Uh, mm -hmm. but the, really what we're trying to do is collect email, right? We're, that's really the, the main gist here and also get them to provide us some information on the survey are the two key things. Yeah, yeah and, and basically hear how the businesses are doing given what's going on. Right, so we want to add, I think COVID, you know, mentioned that we want your email address because of uh, <coughs> in the future with environments like this, it'd be good for us to be able to reach out to the business and also uh, the police, I know had requested an updated uh, list of business. And I think if we just add those couple of items in here, maybe early on, um, and if you want, I can take a shot at just adding 
those things here and, and forward this. I'll forward the original and then I'll add those couple of items to it okay. and get the thoughts from the group. Um, any thoughts on this now, seeing it now? Um, um, 860, uh, you, you're admitting Peter, right Pete? Yep, I am, yeah, I forgot it. Okay. Um, so if you guys want, um, I will forward this letter uh, out to what I have here out to everybody. Uh, or Pete, I'll forward it to you. And if you can forward it to the attendees here, that'd be great. Sure. And I, I'll, I'll also do an edited one in the sense of just adding the piece on why get, having their information with the town is important. You know, again, for these COVID related scenarios, hopefully we never have one of these again, but, uh, and also that the police would like to have an updated in case they need to get a hold of uh, business owners, et cetera. Um, Mark, can I ask a question? Absolutely. So is it appropriate where you ask if they want to participate more in EVIC? If, is it appropriate to ask if they want to join the, the chamber? Yeah, um, we do have that um, right here. Uh, we, can, we can add that for sure uh, or something similar. We know maybe you keep up with Happening in Town, um, Wessel Chamber of Commerce webpage, et cetera. So yeah, we can add, add that in as a question. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right where it says about the EDIC. That would be awesome. Thank you. Yep. Good. So that will add that. So those are the two items. Uh, Pete, do you know if the gentleman um, from the print shop is, is with us? Uh, there's a phone number there that ends in 7945. Is that, is that you, Jeff? Might have to hit star six to unmute himself. Let me see if I can unmute. Oh, here we go. No, it's actually, it's Denise. I can oh, see you guys on my computer, but for some reason my, my speaker and my, my, I can't hear you guys, so I had to call in too. Okay. Um, I think we're good. So was there anything else on this particular piece uh, that I know um, I'm, I'm taking Marco's, um, um, uh, you know, let's get the hell going on this concept at the last meeting, which I agree with. So I'll make the last, I'll, I'll put what I'm hoping are the last little edits, including the cops and the COVID in it. Um, and Pete, I guess we just need to hear back. Once we have that done, um, how do we get the chip, uh, the, what's the, uh, the uh, survey service? Uh, for survey, the month? Month. survey monkey. Survey monkey. We yeah, we were waiting to uh, for this meeting to set actually set up the uh, survey, but um, so it's a survey monkey link which we'll include in the um, letter and also on the um, envelope. So before we go to print, obviously we need that link. Yes. Okay. So uh, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yep, we can hear yep. you. All right. Sorry about that. I was having some uh, technical difficulties logging in this morning. Um, I was just going to say for the link. Um, are you able to do a, a fairly short link or can you use a URL shortener to make it short? Um, just so people don't have to do a whole lot of typing since this is in print. Yeah, we can customize it to say, you know, be something like business survey or something like that. Okay, that'd be great. Yep. So just to put a bow on this then, Pete, um, I'm, I'll add those two items, the cops and COVID. Yep. Um, we need to find out from the printer if the estimate we got included printing out <laughs> The letter, right? Um, and you, will you go to uh, the survey uh, and get our link so we can provide that to the printer? Can we? That's something. Once you get it, do you have to use it within like two weeks or something? Or no, you can leave it. You can leave it on for for literally months if you like. You can decide when you're going to end it and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So you know, come up with something, and so we can grab that and provide that to the printer. I'd like to get this to the printer in the next couple of days. I, I don't see any reason why we're not ready, other than making these uh, edits to it. Do you yep. agree, or am I missing something? No, no, we can. Uh, I think we can get this thing uh, out the door very soon. So, okay. Um, the only other thing we haven't really looked at is the actual business survey. The questions we wanted to. My notes indicated we wanted to keep it to like five questions. So if you look at the, there's an, an additional attachment mark that I sent out to everybody. Okay, I probably don't have that. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, it was sent out in the group email. <laughs> no, no, I mean in, uh, in this document. Let me. Uh, no, 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 this, it's different than what you um, were okay. looking at. Do you want to uh, bring it up and show yeah, and share yeah, your me, screen? 
Yep, let me bring it up. Pushing you to the limit here, Pete, on technology. That's okay. It's a friendly group, except for, you know, Gary, maybe. <laughs> Good comeback, Gary. <laughs> the best growly face I could give. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, what was in the attachments. So um, <clears throat> get, we're trying to get business name, business address, uh, business contact, uh, that probably should say person, um, preferred email, preferred phone number, business website if they have it. And then we're asking if they have other social media links that we should. Um, Are you guys seeing Peter's screen? Nope. No, no. one's seeing Oh. Reading it from the email. All right, let me um, see what's going on here. <clears throat> How about now? There we go. Yep. There we okay. Are. Okay. Yep. So the top of the survey would just be, you know, gathering the information that we're looking for emails, phone numbers, websites, uh, other social media links that people are using. And then the bottom two thirds are the uh, questions. I think we, my notes indicated we wanted to keep, keep it kind of simple. What do you like about doing business in Weathersfield? What do you dislike? What challenges are you having with your business? What can we do to support your business? And then do you, <laughs> opening it up, do you have any suggestions? And then uh, room for any other uh, comments. And then at the bottom, we'll have the survey monkey link. It, it may not be a bad idea, Pete, to maybe put the survey link at the top. Because uh, they look at this thing and they go, I'm not filling this thing out. And they and I'm just trying to think about when they're opening up mail and they just boom. So um, yep. if you look, if, I would move that to the top. And, you know, and if you don't want to use the electronic, you can do it manually. You follow me? Yep, and I want to encourage as many people to use use the Survey Monkey as we can. So absolutely, absolutely, legibility, um, logistics, everything makes sense to use the Survey Monkey. Do we want to even, since we're trying to capture email and everything, do we want to even provide the paper one, or you know, do, if we want to force them to use it, do we? I mean, that'd be a hell of a way to force them by just not giving them the option. Well, yeah, I was I wasn't going I wasn't going to include this in the uh, mailing. This is just this will be the what we have as the Survey Monkey version. So they're going to get a letter, uh, the cover letter. They're going to get the return envelope, and they're going to get the window cling. They're not going to get these these que these questions will be on the envelope though, so that if they want to do it on the envelope, they can just mail it in that way. Okay, that's right. Yeah, so, Mark, you're 100% on target with that. That's the way it should be done. And it sounds like Pete's already got it. So we're good. Is the envelope postage paid? Yes. No. Is no? It? Yes. OK. <clears throat> OK. So um, to go to your point, Marco, you um, were we're going to encourage, obviously, people to use SurveyMonkey, but if they don't want to, they're going to, this is going to be what's on the inside of the, uh, of the envelope, Pete, that they yes. mail back? Right. Okay, so we are giving them the option um, to fill this out uh, on the envelope as well. Yeah, so we're giving them three options. They can, they can um, go to SurveyMonkey. They can um mail this mail this in the envelope and i'm also giving them our uh, general email link so if they wanted to do fill it out copy it and just you know email it to us they could do that too and they'll have our email if they wanted to give us other comments and suggestions hey mark yeah it's pat hey uh sorry i'm i'm, I'm on the road today so i had to call him via phone but uh i was listening to uh, basically the letter idea uh have you guys considered doing uh they, they have a bunch of free uh, 
what is it, uh, free QR code generators. So what you could do is uh, you could uh, pair the Survey Monkey link with one of these QR codes, and then you could put it on the bottom right hand or the bottom left hand of the letter, and they could actually just scan it with their phone. Um, I did that. I've done that a few times with uh, mailing campaigns. It's been pretty successful, especially with simple surveys like this. Are they able to, once you click on the QR code, it opens up the survey. Are you able to fill it out right from your phone? Is it electronic? Yeah, it, yeah so basically you just scan it with your camera like a QR code and it uh, above it, it, it pops down the link. You just click the link and it'll just take you to the survey. Like it's the same thing as entering the code into the web browser. It just takes you directly to it. Yeah, we can do that, Pat. Perfect. Yeah, it's definitely a good idea. If, if we can do it, um, then it'll just save the typing time, right? So I think Pat's right I, on I, I, Again, I'm, I'm all about path of least resistance, especially when it comes to getting somebody to do anything. Yeah, so. Exactly. All right, so Pete, to add to your laundry list, then we need to get the Survey Monkey link and also a QR code that would be associated with that. Who provides a QR code and how do you attach it to the Survey Monkey? Do you go online there, and get there's, it the Yeah, there, there's free ones everywhere, Mark. Okay. Um, they, they just generate it and what they'll do is they'll email you a uh, um, j just the QR code itself that comes as a JPEG and then you could just uh, insert it into the Word document. Okay. Okay, Pete, so uh, my laundry list is to um, take one last look at the letter, um, insert the piece about the police and why they uh, would like to have an updated list from the business community, and also kind of put a COVID slant on the letter uh, that, you know, in these times, um, being able to communicate with the business owners is really critical, um, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, and I'm glad that we found that um, um, uh, compacted uh, letter. I think the more succinct and quick to the point it is, the more readers we're going to get on it. Um, anybody have any other questions on that? That's really the mission that I had um, on the letter. Any other questions or comments on that? That was a good suggestion, Patrick. Thank you on the QR code. Um, anything else? All right, I guess we're good there, Pete. Um, should we talk about salute to business? Yep. Do you want to, since you're in the, the sharing mode, um, sharing is caring, do you want to pull up the uh, list sure. of a, a potential um, yep. business owners? You guys, when did you guys compile that list? Uh, just the last few days. All right, let's see here. While Pete's pulling that up, I was just going to let you know that my sister Morella, unfortunately, could not join us today. Um, but as it relates to doing videos, as we talked about in video clips, um, she did mention that um, from a personal touch standpoint, she would be happy to, to visit any businesses that wanted to submit any small video clips um, that, you know, I know we were talking a little bit about one of those ideas to get some videos. If people were, you know, she just thought it would be nice to put an EDIC personal touch where she would go out shoot the video clip, bring it back to us, and then we can stitch them together. Um, if that ends up going you know, down that path, just while Pete's getting ready here. Guys, um, my, um, my sister who's very techie, um, and, I, and, and I am not techie, but for her birthday, her partner sent out a, um, a website to go to where you could actually shoot a video and put it up on the site and you could share the site um, and it was free with everybody. It didn't require stitching anything together. There was vignettes, you know, to sell well, she turned 50 and all well wishers was probably 15 or 20 people who did little videos on their phone, downloaded it to this site. Um, and then you could just scroll through and you could click on them and see how people did funny things or whatever uh, to celebrate, to say happy birthday. Um, I'm wondering if doing something like that would be, would take that whole video production and, and slicing them together and just take that out. Has anybody seen that? I don't know that just popped into my head. Anybody seen that before? I, this is Brooke, I just, uh, posted in the chat that I think it's called Tribute. Um, we just did it for a friend's son, as a matter of fact, posted a video and then we were able to see the completed video. 
Um, yeah, at least I did it as well with a friend who uh, his wife suggested that we all contribute videos. So we all did the same thing. Exactly. So would that work in what we're talking about or would that not work? I mean, I think it might work. I think one of the things just from a, like a fulfillment, like, so the letter goes out, um, you know, obviously we get going with salute to business ideas. It'd be nice to have, um, I mean, my vision for it is that somewhere up on, you know, the directory at the town site, it would just be great to have even just that 30 second, you know, one minute uh, video of, of any business that wants to share. Um, maybe it's not going to be done through the, the town website. Maybe it's going to be done socially just so we can be more nimble with it. But at the end of the day, I think it's just a matter of having, giving businesses the ability to, you know, put a little plug for themselves out there. Um, in addition to obviously the the kind of selfish need for a salute to business right now. Um, but I'm just trying to think of a couple of things where you can actually go someplace and then see these on a regular basis. If they're just stuck in like a tribute tool or somewhere else, we may not have them as, as quite as uh, malleable as we want them. Um, you know, someday it'd be nice to have either a, a Vimeo or a YouTube site or channel full of these videos of Weathersfield businesses. Um, and it becomes like a central spot for them forever and ever, for however long we want to have them. Um, I, I'm just sort of roughing the idea out right now in my head, but, um, you know, I'm just, I, I do like the idea though. I think it would, it, that, that piece right there that you mentioned would probably cut down a lot of production time for sure. The tribute concept? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, I would like to chat about the idea of how we make this available for members of our community to tout businesses. Um, I'm always talking to my kids about how I want to hear the good things about them from other people. I don't want to hear how great they think mm -hmm. they are themselves. Um, so how can we also make this available on social? So if you feel really strongly about a local business and why you continue to support them, I think there's a lot of power behind letting customers and consumers and residents talk about why they believe in our businesses. Well, that's, I think that's Brooks, Brooks hundred percent, right. That's the authentic conversation that social media is really intended for. It's, and as we all know, it's very authentic. Um, so you're going to get the good, the bad and the ugly, you know, you're going to get a lot of different things that happen in there. But at the end of the day, um, she's right that if, if we want to be really nimble with it and really get it out there, um, I think that's a, you know, it's a great idea someday to get it out there right now. We're just trying to get out of the gate with some simple video clips for salute or for other needs, but but I do love that idea. I mean, that's let businesses talk about each other, let, you know, consumers react to businesses um, and make it our own personal, you know, kind of thing here for Weathersfield. I wonder if that's something that we could, um, uh, we talked about always trying to get the business community somehow up on the, the, the great elm. I wonder if that's a, an avenue to do that um, is using the great elm site um and adding a business piece um it, you know the great elm logo was work uh play discover um, um thoughts i mean would that be something that we, we could do from there or from the town site i think we can do it i think we just have to we have to just do a quick storyboard on this one just to put mm -hmm. put um you know so just if you can envision for a minute if you know you have to make this real right so if you go, if you went to the Great Elm site and there was like a, you know, a business showcase or a business spotlight type area or something like that, I'm just thinking very rudimentary right now. Let's say there were five businesses and you could find out their information, but alongside of that, you had a, an embedded video clip about them. It could be about them winning an award, frankly, because um, again, if we need that for salute to business, we might be able to reuse that video. Um, but I'm, I'm picturing something like that where Again, I think the website where it gets a little bit tough is that um, websites, you know, oftentimes move a lot slower and social media moves very fast. Um, and so I think to Brooke's point, um, having something that can kind of be super nimble would be great. Um, I just think that, it, you know, it can, this thing can kind of explode into its own little animal. Um, might need a little bit of moderation. We might need a little bit of uh, TLC that we give it as it goes through the process. Um, but you got to start somewhere. Um, and right now I'm just thinking about, I just think the sensory experience of having video clips is still a great idea somehow. Okay. I mean, we can link anything to our, the town website, which would then be carried on like a Facebook. Um, question is, where, you know, if it, does it sit out there more as a social media platform or something that we have to save on a server somewhere? 
because obviously it's video clips would take up a lot more room, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm fine with being creative and finding different ways to, to do it. Obviously you want to make sure that there's enough people who are willing to do a few video clips just to start off to build the momentum. Otherwise you'll have, you want to make sure you have something sitting out there. So Gary, do you, does the town have, um, does the town have a, a YouTube channel right now that is specifically for town activity? Yep. Um, I don't know if it's just for boards and commissions available, but we do have a t we do have a channel, so we could probably. I mean, we put we could just spin up our own PSA, channel for EDIC. Put PSAs though. PSAs up there and everything else, so we probably. Yeah, but I'm thinking. I mean, even if EDIC had its own channel of businesses where it's just business spotlight stuff or business testimonials or whatever we want to call it, um, having I, I wouldn't dare think of putting all these videos on a server somewhere at the town. Um, <laughs> that's not what the town does. Um, so. You need a video host. It's got to be a YouTube. I would put it on YouTube or a Vimeo or one of those where it can be um, really delivered properly the way video needs to be to all devices. And then all we do is just embed it and use it where we want, like in the Great Elm, social media, wherever else we want to put it. But we do need a, a good home for it. Um, it would be great to have a home like a channel or something like that. Well, it definitely falls underneath marketing. I think we should blow some more life into that and maybe schedule that for another meeting. I, I think it's a great idea. Um, if you guys think the tribute concept will work for the salute to business, um, how do we begin to flesh that out? Um, uh, is it, Or I should say, do we want to still go forward? Is that, I know we were pretty uh, optimistic or gung-ho uh, on Thursday. Um, what are your thoughts on uh, using this basically as a, um, an acknowledgement and a replacement, obviously, for the event itself, um, using something like tribute or, or another idea um, uh, to the potential businesses. And Peter, how many businesses are there? For the awards we're talking about, you mean? Yes. So there are, let's see, 10, like 20 businesses. Could you open up your, uh, your item on your computer or would that not, not take you there? It's not on the screen again? No, it's on the screen, but you just haven't opened it up. Um, it is open on my screen. Let's see. You're sharing. You're you got to look to see which screen you're sharing, Peter. I think you might be sharing one on a different monitor. What's on my What's on the screen right now? What do you guys see? The um, your file explorer. Fire up, okay. yeah, explorer. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to give you a call right back. Okay. How about now? No, still your file. Oh. Yeah, it won't come up for some reason. Let's see here. Do you want to shoot it to me, Peter, and I'll try and share it? Yeah, you guys all, you guys all have this. Um, I sent it out with the email the other day. Mark, you don't, can you pull it up on yours? Hang on. Uh, I'll get it. Oops, clicked on the wrong one. It is the 2020 suggested award recipients is the file name. Yep, got it. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna add you as a. Um, I think I should just be able to share. All right. I don't think you have to add me as anything. Sorry, Peter, that was embarrassing. Should have that. That's all right. <clears throat> oh, no, you did disable screen sharing. Look at you, all fancy. <laughs> Let me add you with me earlier. It's disabled by fields. default nowadays, so they, yeah, they don't want anybody standard, sharing anything. So. I'm going to add you as a co-host, Gary. So I'm still going to zoom bomb you. That there we up. go. Yep. Everybody see that? Okay. Yep. 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 So since we haven't been able to really do too many uh, ribbon cuttings, uh, unlike last year, we didn't do the welcome awards. We figured we would um, also at the same time recognize some of the new businesses. So there are a few others that I didn't add here yet. So th this is a, uh, a fluid list. 
but nevertheless, that gives you an idea. So there are nine of those right now. There's a couple more that we probably need to add. And then uh, we've got a couple of longevity awards. And we're you guys can still tune. see it, right? Yeah, yep. we're going to fine tune that a little bit just to make sure we haven't missed anyone from 10 years ago. And then at the bottom, we get into the, uh, the, the bigger awards. So uh, we want to recognize the Borden, uh, Lenoche's Italian Kitchen, the Charles Restaurant. And then there's um, the apartments up uh, 170 Ridge Road. And then the uh, Webb Dean Stevens uh, Visitor Center Edition that they're finalizing right now. And then the Tourism Commission wants to recognize uh, the slip away river tours this year. And then last year we didn't give out the Betty Rosanya Award. Um, so we didn't do that last year and, and I kind of left it open if anyone has any suggestions who to recognize uh, this year. Um, a question for the group. Um, if we do the tribute concept or something like that for these, Peter, we, whenever we go back to doing this live again, say at the country club, would we take the same group of people or would we go on to a different group? I guess that depends on when we, when we do an event, you know, if we, if we do something in the spring, then it would be this group. Uh, if we wait until next December, then obviously it would be a whole nother set of awardees. Okay. So we would send out the standard letter, you know, like that we always do with the, with the modification that we're not actually holding an event. And in lieu of that, we're asking them to, you know, produce a short little video and give them whatever specific guidance we want to give them in terms of how long, if we're going to use this uh, tribute software, you know, here, these are the elements we would like you to uh, include, but at the same time, be creative about it. So that would be the general idea. Yeah. Is there a, t is there a max amount of time that you can do on the tribute? Are you limited to a minute or two minutes or anything? Any ideas? I don't know what, it, what the capabilities are. I just know that the person who organized ours asked us to keep it to under two. Okay. Yeah, it was very effective and it was very entertaining too, because you could scroll through and see what other people put on. So I think that would be a you know a a, a great avenue. Um, so Pete, um, we basically from our end just need to modify the recognition letter. Are we still going to? Um, are we still going to print up the plaques and whatnot and still present them with that? Yeah, we were going to, we were going to produce similar awards. We would go out to the businesses and, and give it to them. And, and then hopefully they would, uh, they can incorporate the award possibly also into the video. Right. Sort of accepting it. Uh, and sure. then also promote themselves at the same time. Okay. Hey, just an idea for the Betty Resigner award. <clears throat> what about <clears throat> giving it to uh, someone like Dan Silver, who's not with us anymore, we probably could accept the forum, because he's done a lot, you know, for the businesses in town, being on planning and zoning, EDIC, and, you know, doing a lot of other stuff in town, promoting businesses. That's yeah, a really think, nice idea. I like that idea. That's, yeah, a, great that's a really, really nice idea. Yep. Good one, Tony. I have once in a while. <laughs> I figured I'd say it before Gary did. I think I got that's, nothing. A, it's a it's a great idea. It's certainly worthy. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, all right. So on this particular piece, Peter, we just need to modify that letter, um, um, and I guess we can start with that. Um, I'm. Uh, I'm I'm, I just, I'm, I think it's a great idea. I think, I don't know if it's Marco, you suggested it on Thursday. Your rough idea has morphed into something, went from a chrysalis to a beautiful butterfly in, in 72 hours. So it's all good. Um, all right. Well, we can start uh, with that, Pete. Any other comments uh, regarding 
because what I like about the trip using tribute is that it's all built in, give them directions and tell them how we're going to use it. And then once we have it, we can promote it. I guess the other question, can you download that yourself or does it just have to live on tribute? Can people only view it on tribute? Or can it looks like I'm, looking at, I'm, I'm looking at the site right now. So it looks like it's $25 for one tribute. Um, I don't see any specifications on like how many videos or anything, but like Brooke said, maybe there's just a limit of X amount per, per video that gets uploaded. Um, there is a, a keepsake takeaway thing that they're saying they put it on a USB drive for you. Um, but my guess is you could also probably download it. Um, might not be a bad idea to actually run a, do a dry run with one of these, um, maybe in a small, small setting so we can just kind of get our feet wet with it pretty quickly and, and see how it all works and make sure we're good with it before we actually ask others to be our guinea pigs. Uh, J Jesse Smith does a lot of little videos for the Historic Weathersfield um, website. I'll, I'll also reach out to him in case he That's uses good. a particular product. Um, and that since he has experience with it, we might have a few lessons learned that way too. I'll also talk to our IT guys about the YouTube uh, idea and setting that up so we can put these in a centralized location. Yeah, the YouTube piece is really, really simple. Um, I do a lot of that stuff as well. So um, a lot of my clients are doing that. So that one's really, really simple. It's more just we want to use it as a spot. Like, again, just think of it as a central spot to put all the videos so that we can put them in separate playlists. You can organize them by business categories. Um, it can be really whatever we want it to be. Um, it's just nice because then you know, the servers at the town or anywhere else don't have to, you know, bear that burden. Right. Okay. Anything else on this salute to business? Virtual salute to business. Okay, Pete. So let's, we'll just go through the laundry list here. I'll make the, uh, introduce the uh, police and COVID into the, um, to the letter. Um, I'll send out to the group the original and the one where I add those items into it. I may play with it a little bit and try to tighten it up a little bit. Um, it's pretty tight already, but I'll, I'll give it one more shot and get some input from you guys. Um, you are gonna look at the Survey Monkey link and getting a QR code. Is that right uh, for that? A good yep. suggestion there. Um, yep. And uh, with regards to the tribute, what's uh, the next action step? I guess it would, would start with just uh, modifying that letter um, um, you would the list that you provided you said you wanted to tighten up that list of 2020 a little bit yeah I'll look at we'll look at it today we'll have that by today you know there's a lot of notable people on that including the the item for Dan Silver um, which I think if we can try to you know we're I know we're we're um, still virus uh, restricted but if this is something that we could possibly do in the spring um, or very early summer, you know, if it gets to the point where people are feeling comfortable and safe and the town, you know, minim, minim, minimizes liability, et cetera, it'd be nice to see if we could do these in person. Um, okay. but I think in the interim, it's a great solution. Um, but if we could do it, it'd be nice to see if we could do it live. I know I missed the very beginning of the meeting. I just want to make sure I'm on, I'm up to date. So there is not, there will be a virtual event or there's not going to be a virtual event? No, meaning virtual, meaning just the video. I should say video okay. event, not virtual event, Brooke, I'm sorry. Got it. No, that's okay. I just want to make sure I was, I was on the same page. Thanks. I don't know if I'm on my own page, Brooke, so. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, anything else to share? We good? All right, guys, thanks for your time. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good morning.